electricity is everywhere and often taken for granted these days. This makes knowing the hazards involved with electricity extremely important. Approximately 230 electrical-related fatalities occur each year in the workplace. Electrical accidents can cause burns, shocks, and electrocution. Without proper electrical safety knowledge, electrical accidents can lead to death. In this course, we will cover electrical safety as well as arc flash awareness. Before we get started, let's get familiar with some important terms. Electric current refers to the flow of an electric charge carried by electrons as they jump from atom to atom. Electric current is an easy to understand concept. When you turn on a light switch, electric current flows from the switch through the wire to the light and the room is instantly illuminated. Electric current flows more easily in some types of atoms than in others. Atoms that let current flow easily are called conductors, whereas atoms that don't let current flow easily are called insulators. Electric shock occurs when a current passes through the body. This can cause burns or no marks at all, but in either case, an electrical current passing through the body can cause internal damage or cardiac arrest. Under certain circumstances, even a small amount of electricity can be fatal. Currents greater than 75 milliampere can cause ventricular fibrillation, or rapid ineffective heartbeat. This can lead to death in minutes. To put this into perspective, a small power drill uses 30 times as much power. Electricity travels in closed circuits, and its normal route is through a conductor. Electric shock occurs when the body becomes a part of the circuit. Electrical burns are the most common shock-related non-fatal injuries. This can occur when someone touches electrical wiring or equipment that is improperly maintained. Electrical burns require immediate attention. In addition to electric shock, secondary injuries often occur, such as a fall. Hazards may also present themselves in other ways, such as an inadequate wiring hazard or an overload hazard. An inadequate wiring hazard exists when a conductor is too small to safely carry the current. An example of this would be using a portable tool with an extension cord that has a wire that is too small for the tool. The tool will draw more current than the cord can handle, causing overheating and a possible fire without tripping the circuit breaker. Overload hazards occur if too many devices are plugged into a circuit. In this case, the current may heat the wires to a very high temperature, causing a fire. If the wire insulation melts, arcing may occur and can cause a fire. We will get into arc flash later in this course. Grounding hazards are some of the most frequently violated OSHA electrical standards. Grounding is a physical connection to the earth, which is at zero volts. Grounding ensures that metal parts of an electrical wiring system are at zero volts relative to ground. Electrical protective devices are used to shut off electricity flow in the event of an overload or ground fault in the circuit. Here are some examples of electrical protective devices. Any electrical equipment operating at 50 volts or more 
must be guarded to prevent accidental contact. Here are some examples of guarding. Electrical arc flash is a phenomenon where a flashover of electric current leaves its intended path and travels through the air from one conductor to another or to the ground. Arc flash occurs when several electrical conductors are placed close to each other, with significant fault currents flowing through them. In this situation, ionization of the air can take place, which leads to a low resistance path and allows current to flow through the air gap between conductors. Electrical arc flash can result in serious injury or death. Here are some hazards associated with arc flash. Any equipment operating at 50 volts or more and not put into a de-energized state must be evaluated for arc flash and shock protection. This will evaluate proper PPE, as well as actual boundaries. After evaluation, an arc flash hazard warning label must be affixed to equipment and readily accessible. The National Fire Protection Association developed specific approach boundaries designed to protect employees while working on or near energized equipment based on the worker's distance away from the live part. PPE for arc flash includes, but is not limited to, safety glasses, voltage rated gloves, fire resistant or flame retardant work clothes, arc related face shields, flash suits with hoods, and hearing protection. Anytime someone is required to work on equipment where arc flash is possible, OSHA requires that the following safety related work practices are in place. Arc flash is a serious hazard and should not be taken lightly. It is instantaneous and can be fatal.